Well, just give me your thoughts right now on the market, sort of what we saw in that PMI, whether you're worried as some others seem to be in terms of the industrial economy and that bleeding in as, uh, as we so often hear into other parts of the economy as well. Well, let's start with the fact that industrials are 11 percent of the economy. Uh, I actually think that, that they will be fine. Look, the market's de-risked. The Fed has, uh, has uh, sort of gotten into line. I think the Fed's in a good place. Even though China's coming out talking about uh, maybe no trade deal, I think that the trade talks are in the right direction. Brexit has, uh, is moving in the right direction. So look, at uh, Steeple, we see uh, a movement to cyclicals away from defensive. That includes financials. Uh, and so uh, we, we're actually positive on this market. Um, now, you had earnings of your own, which we'll get to in a moment. But give me your take on earnings season so far as well. Well, you know, there's been uh, earnings uh, have been uh, mixed for sure. Uh, there's probably a number of factors that, that will drive that. But, you know, again, the market's always forward looking. And uh, we, we again see the things that the market was worried about. You know, it wasn't but a month ago we were talking about uh, the high likelihood of recession and zero interest rates. Those certainly weighed on financials. And as we move far, further away from those two scenarios, again, I, I see the cyclical stocks improving here, especially the financials. Well Ron, I wonder how much you think uh, D.C. drama is factored into this market, if at all, whether, I mean, we've got the House voting this impeachment inquiry resolution today, obviously the election next year. Do you think investors are paying close enough attention to that? And I guess, how do you think that continues to shape the narrative into 2020? You know, it's interesting. I, you know, you talk about the geopolitical risk or maybe specifically the political risk in Washington. It's almost becoming a daily event, and I think that investors do sort of just uh, smooth that over and don't really look at what's going on in Washington. If there's an issue in Washington, it's the fact that we've got to make sure that we don't shut down the government, that we get spending going. The impeachment inquiry uh, is a lot of noise, but I'm not sure the market's paying a lot of attention right now. They will pay more attention when we get to February and we get a sense of what the, you know, what the political, what, who may come out of the Democratic uh, convention and how that might look, you know, for 20, uh, 2021 and beyond. I wonder, though, if you think businesses and CEOs are paying attention, whether it's capital raising pipelines, whether it's investment plans, uh, looking to the future. I mean, we talk so much about uncertainty and the fact that we've seen a softening of those numbers. I wonder whether that's weighing on it and I wonder whether that's going to continue to weigh into next year? Well, certainly what I see is I do think business investment uh, has certainly lagged the consumer in terms of what's driving this economy. But I feel that that was more uh, reflective of the uncertainty coming around trade, around Brexit, and around monetary policy. And as I've said, all three of those have, have improved over the last month. So from my perspective and my confidence, uh, my confidence is higher today than it was a month ago. You sometimes, you have a decent feel sometimes for uh, the retail investor out there uh, and the investor in general. You know, what are you guys uh, hearing from, uh, in terms of your, your platforms, your global wealth management as well, in terms of how people are thinking about this market right now, Ron? You know, I think that the, uh, the, the average retail investor sort of reflects what's going on in the economy, and that is the consumer is, is very strong. I think there's confidence on the consumer side, and I think that's reflected in our investors who are engaged in this market. So it, as, as usual, uh, you know, sometimes the consumer is just moving ahead, and it's all of us professionals that are, that are uh, you know, woe is me.